welcome to the Dark Ray project. Today we'll be very busy because we're going to cover 5 armor plate carriers or APCs. The main purpose of any APC is protection against hits, quick access to maxim pouches and offering a rigid mounting solution and weight bearing. Let's start with the standards. The LBT 6094A is the oldest in the bunch and that's the standard in APC design. So the main construction of any APC is front plate, back plate, cummerbund and the shoulder straps. Now let's talk about LBT's front plate. On the top, the molar rows comes right after each other for more mounting flexibility, including additional Velcro material on it for patches. It has two vertical molar for ITW buckle attachments on the sides to clip on chest rigs and such. This APC comes with medium sized plate storage, which means the molar is six sections wide. The kangaroo pouch is quite deep, designed from Remax. They use the expected fabric with some reinforced stitched areas on the top and around the connection of the shoulder strap, but the bottom areas are not reinforced. The interior is made out of a sweat resistant, smooth fabric with an added foam cushion layer. The area for the plate insert is coated in water resistant material to prevent sweat corrosion on the plates. We see a plate security flap which allows for multiple plate size support in one APC. In this instance, the plate carrier supports smaller plates to be used as well. It has a double compartment. The first compartment is for the hard plates, while the second compartment right behind it can be used for soft body armor inserts. There's also a quick plate release lanyard. So if there's any emergency to quickly get rid of the plate, just pull on the lanyard and the plate will fall straight out by its own weight. And inside the top, there's a tiny nylon pouch which could be used for quick storage. Next up is the Mayflower front plate section. It is close to the LBT design, but they took out some extra features such as the nylon cushion inside and the extra soft armor compartments. The stitching work is similar to the LBT, which means it is exposed from the outside. They use a softer fabric with more reinforced stitching around the stress points, this time including the bottom areas as well. Like the LBT, inside the fabric is coated in water resistant material to prevent sweat related corrosion on the plate. The added feature is the built-in admin pouch, featuring two compartments. The first compartment is closed by a velcro lip. Inside, the elastic mollet to secure smaller items such as pens or small glow sticks. The second compartment is stitched on the top of the first one. It is not velcro closed and it is meant for quick storage. There's also additional vertical mollet for ITW buckle attachments, again to support chest rigs and such. The elastic plate security flap inside the plate compartment allows plates of small and medium. The extra elastic band allows the plate to be packed into the compartment very snug. The kangaroo pouch is different from LBT since it is bounded in by the cummerbund from outside. While the LBT PC has a kangaroo pouch flap placed outside of the cummerbund, the Mayflower allows heavier weight attached on the outside mollet without worrying the velcro to get detached and becoming loose. Let's jump to the SOD Spectre PC. It is a heavier version of the LBT design with some added features. They use a harder fabric which gives it a more rigid structure for better load bearing. Now in terms of stitching, the LBT and Mayflower have the stitching work outside, but the SOD gear APC has the stitching placed inside the compartment. With this stitching method, the edges can be protected from the environment. There's mesh in the interior for better airflow, plus the top interior section contains velcro for attaching additional form cushions. The interior bottom has molar inside for fanny pack attachment or crotch plate bags. There's an interior plate security flap in the plate compartment which allows plates of smaller size to be fitted as well. However, there is no additional compartment for extra soft armor inserts. On the front top of the PC, there is more molar space than the LVT. The two top molly sections on both sides are extra wide for ideal cable management. Unfortunately, that means no vertical molly attachment possibilities for ITW buckles. Lastly, the kangaroo pouch is the same as the LBT, so it attaches outside of the cummerbund and it is very deep. Plus, you can customize its compression for different inserts. Let's have a look at the Ferro Concept PC. It is a closer design to the Mayflower with some modular improvements. It contains a built-in admin pouch on the top, however, it only contains one compartment. The fabric is similar to the Mayflower APC, a softer material with stitching work inside like the SOD gear PC. The plate is secured 
by the external flap on the outside, which only allows the plate carrier to support medium-sized plates. The front kangaroo flap is secured by Velcro and is removable for other type of front flaps. The Ferro Concept PC kangaroo pouch is shallower than the LBT and Mayflower. It is primarily designed for their own Mac insert in mind. The bottom of the kangaroo pouch features large openings on its side, ideal for larger debris to fall free out of the compartment. Due to the detachable front flap, it is missing one row of molly space on the front flap compared to others. The interior features a mesh for airflow just like the SOD, however the mesh does not cover the entire space of the interior, only about 70%. Finally, the BG Minus front plate. They use laser cut material, their signature Helium Whisper to save weight. The entire front of the plate carrier features full molly spacing with additional vertical molly anywhere in the cuts. The interior lining is made out of a soft gel material which is breathable and is somewhat elastic. There's an additional compartment for inserts, which is located between the laser cut molle and plate compartment. The plate security flap is laser cut and it also features molle for additional attachments on the bottom. It lacks a kangaroo pouch due to its minimalistic design. This is clearly the lightest front plate carrier we have here. It is time to have a closer look at the back plate sections of our APCs, starting with the LVT. It is presented more like a backpack with extended padding on the back that extends on the shoulder straps. The back plate carrier is cushioned. They're using a smooth nylon fabric to prevent sweat. Like the front, it has an extra compartment for soft armor inserts. There's also Velcro on the inside to attach spinal support columns. Inside, there's a Velcro band for securing the plate and it also features a quick plate release like in the front and it features the typical drag handle on the top. Next up is the Mayflower. Compared to the LBT, it is a much simpler design, like it misses the drag handle. The interior side is just fabric without any smooth nylon material or padding. And like the front plate portion, it also features an elastic security band in the plate compartment for smaller plate support. So really, the Mayflower design only contains the essentials. Alright, the SOD DPC. On the interior, there is mesh for airflow and like the front, the top section of the interior features Velcro for attaching cushions meant for spinal support. The drag handle is extended on the back and is more heavy duty than the LVT because it is stitched along the entire back side. There's also a plate security band inside the plate compartment. The top molly rows on the back contain some Velcro surface for attaching patches. Next up is the Ferro Concept back section. It also has a mesh back cushion on the inside for airflow. It features an extended drag handle on the top, but the inside of the plate carrier compartment lacks a plate security band. Like the front, it is directly secured by only the external closure. Finally, the BFG. Now, there is not much to say here because the front and back are exactly the same. Same laser cut material, same soft gel interior material, and same way to secure the plate on the back. Place the two side by side, there's no way to tell which is the front without looking at the side buckles. Next topic are the shoulder straps. By default they are exchangeable, but we're discussing here the manufacturer stock ones that come with it. LBT. They are foam padded, have extended length and are rigid for weight support design. Mayflower. They feature mesh on the inside and are short in length it is very soft and can bend easily, but not meant for heavy weight. SOD gear. There is mesh as well on the inside with extensive molly on the top. Just like the LBT, it is very long but more rigid than the LBT for better weight support. Barrel concept. They have mesh on the inside plus home placed inside for extra support. The top molly on the shoulder pads are laser cut. And it features a detachable hook to the front plate, so the APC can be put on while wearing a helmet. The hook is not easily to come off or by accidental detachment. BFG. The original doesn't come with any shoulder pad, it is just a laser cut top molle. The material is continuous from the front to the back. The owner here installed the first spear shoulder pads for extra comfort. Finally, let's cover the cumberbunds. They are all interchangeable but these are the ones included 
from the manufacturer side. LBT. The cummerbund here is semi-rigid with molly on the outside. It has a mesh interior, band of foam pad for support and comfort. It has pouch space for mag and side plate armor inserts. The pouch space between the mag and armor insert areas are separate with stitching in between. The cummerbund is secured by bungee tight in the back, so it is not secured by velcro onto the back plates like the other plate carriers. Mayflower. It is made out of a soft fabric model with an elastic bund design. The back portion of the cummerbund is an elastic material, while the front is more a traditional model fabric design like the LVT. This design is meant to bridge the idea of having molly space while still maintaining the elastic cummerbund advantage which bond the plates closely to the body. It features compartments but only for soft armor inserts. There is no mesh for airflow in the inside and the back of the cummerbund is velcro bonded to the back and is adjustable to the waist size. SOD gear. The cummerbund is very rigid for great structural support. It has a mesh interior for airflow and plenty of interior molly space to support any additional attachments on the inside such as side plate pockets. The inside pouch is completely velcro bound and support soft armor inserts. And the back of the cummerbund is secured by velcro and adjustable in size. Ferro Concept They offer different choices from the factory. Unlike regular elastic cummerbunds, it has built-in compartments for additional space. The one presented here is elastic with pouch space for mags or radio. There are other types available for plate inserts and attachments. And the back of the cummerbund is also secured by velcro. Blue Fosk gear. It is just a simple elastic band with buckled lockup. But it is the fastest APC to put on. The sides of the buckle would be pre-adjusted in size and just clip in. Alright, we now looked at a wide range of APCs. From the heavy load bearing ones from SED gear down to the minimalistic ones from BFG. All those modern plate carriers fulfill all kinds of applications for the end user. SOD and LBT have the rigid structure to be weight bearing and heavy duty, while the BFG present the minimalistic design in a slick concealable APC. And Mayflower and Ferro Concept stand somewhere in between. The nice thing is that all the pieces in these plate carriers are interchangeable. The user can actually select and mismatch different front plates and back plates from these designs. They are all velcro bonded. Overall, how an APC function is really up to the user configuration. You can set up a big bulky one like the SOD gear one to be set up pretty fast. And in the upcoming videos, we're going to talk about the kangaroo inserts and what we have at the back of our back plates. This is the Dark Grey Project. Have a good one.